I have had the most unreal treats popping up on my social media feed. And today we're gonna try a bunch of them together. I came across this video of a TikTok creator that went to a convention that showcases crazy foods. These are edible candles and I think that's so smart. You can buy these on Amazon. So I did. The brand is called Let Them Eat Candles and it costs $17 for three of these little things. You can get dark chocolate or milk chocolate and they come in a whole bunch of different patterns and colors. This brand was actually just featured on Shark Tank and the couple that started this company, they're adorable. <laughs> Although I will say, there are not a ton of videos and pictures of these being lit and then just burning for a while. So today we're gonna find out what happens. And of course I had to get a tiny cake to test our candles out with. <gasps> this is gonna be so cute. Oh my gosh, if this works, it's gonna be so revolutionary. All right, let's light it. It's like burning the chocolate. I'm gonna leave it and let it burn for as long as I can and see what happens, cause it's still going. Oh, and it's done. Why did I think the whole thing was gonna melt? I don't know why I thought that, cause literally on the package it says won't melt. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> I have two more candles and we are going to be using these for something really special at the end of the video. This is the definition of an intrusive thought come to life. Let's see if it tastes good. That's pretty good chocolate. We have seven more viral treats that we're gonna be testing today and they just get more intense as the video goes on. And stick around to see the one that's 5,000 calories. I think this might be my favorite dessert so far. But up next, the way I audibly gasped when I saw these macaroons. Like imagine getting these as a gift. I would literally melt because these are so stinking cute little flowers. So we went to the creator's page and unfortunately she doesn't sell them fully made like this, but I got all of the ingredients ingredients to do it ourselves. Macaroons from the local bakery. Is that how you say macaroons? Help, because I've heard people say like macro macarons. Macaron. Macaron? No. Yeah. What? <laughs> I think a macaroon is a completely different cookie. Okay, I got the, these <laughs> cookies. And then I found a seller on Etsy that hand makes these little tiny flowers. So the macarons were $2.45 per cookie. And then these little flowers were $12 for seven of them. We're gonna add a little bit of extra frosting to stick our flowers to. In the video, she just kind of plops all of these on the side here. Dang, these are so little. <laughs> okay, and then we just put the top of the cookie back on. Oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> They're not really wanting to stick that well. Why does the internet make everything look so easy? Okay, let me make a few more, be right back. Okay, these actually turned out pretty cute. Let me know in the comments if you like the cookies with the daisies on them better or the cookies with the roses. I think this one's my favorite. Not bad, actually. Okay, I would say this one was a success. Okay, so they're not cheap to make. It ends up being like $14.45 per cookie. $12 for seven of them. Which like I said, we have much more expensive desserts coming, but that's a lot for one cookie. Obviously I can't make every single one of these viral treats at home. So we are going to the Mecca of Instagrammable treats, Las Vegas. Next up we have a 1000 calorie fortune cookie. That's probably not what you thought I was gonna say, huh? <laughs> How is a fortune cookie one thousand calories you might ask well it's because this one is giant i found this on my instagram feed but there's really no context as to how giant it actually is so we're gonna go get it and find out also i want to find out if this is a real fortune in this cookie <laughs> we also got some food and it was pretty good i would give it like a seven out of ten overall but then it was time for the giant fortune cookie okay our giant fortune cookie has arrived and look there's fortunes for all of us in it i'm so excited <laughs> It feels like a fortune cookie. Is it gonna taste like a fortune cookie? It is a good size if you have like four or five people to split it with. Is this what I crack it with, this thing? <gasps> I'm scared to crack it because it's so cute. I was also very surprised when you crack it open. Ah! Oh, there's like a mousse inside, chocolate on one side, vanilla on the other. Interesting. Time to see if it tastes like a fortune cookie. It does, it's like a fortune cookie, but better. It did taste pretty good, I would say. Definitely one of the better tasting desserts that we got in this video. It's like a waffle cone, 
The actual fortunes, on the other hand, <laughs> they're a little scandalous, but I guess that's to be expected at a Las Vegas restaurant slash nightclub. Why would I make one lover miserable when I can make so many very happy? That's not even a fortune. <laughs> we have made it to Guy Fieri's Vegas kitchen. Here it is, the cheesecake challenge. It's actually less expensive than I thought it would be, $15.99. Half of an entire cheesecake loaded with potato chips, pretzels, and hot fudge. Welcome to Flavor Town. In total, the cheesecake challenge is 1,492 calories. We also ordered the award-winning bacon mac and cheese burger, and I will say it is one of the best burgers I've ever had. The fries were just okay. And then it was time for the challenge. I'm gonna be honest, it's not as huge as I thought it would be. It's like half of a small cheesecake. <laughs> Can I eat the whole thing? Maybe if I wasn't eating eight other desserts today, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> and if you complete the challenge and eat the entire cheesecake, you get literally nothing. There's no prize or anything. Just, you just get a tummy ache, I guess. <laughs> First bite of cheesecake. Oh, it's good. Wait, it's really good. Why is it so good? It looks like a chocolate caramel swirl cheesecake. That's one of the better cheesecakes I've had for sure. And if you're wondering how we're getting the calorie count for each of these desserts, we literally brought a food scale with us to all of these restaurants. And we did our best measuring out all of the different ingredients in them. So the calorie count for all of these desserts is just our best estimate. Of course, we got our leftover cheesecake to go because at the end of the video, we're gonna be combining all of our leftovers to make the ultimate internet treat. But we're only halfway through our desserts. We have lots more to go. Next up, we have this absolute sugar monstrosity, the cotton candy burrito. Honestly, I've been seeing these all over social media for years and I finally found a place that makes them. It's exactly what it sounds like. Cotton candy, you fill it with ice cream and then all of the toppings that your heart desires and you're left with this giant sugary mess. <laughs> Honestly, my teeth hurt just looking at these things, but I'm really excited to try it. And the other day, I actually discovered a cotton candy burrito, but there's a pickle in the middle. We're gonna get a couple and try them out. As featured in all of these places, including YouTube. I should have brought my Hope Scope sticker to stick on here. I will say this Creamberry place does a phenomenal job advertising. And on this wall here, they have a whole bunch of photos and Instagram posts from all the different people that have made content about their stuff. The employees here are also so cool. And the owner insisted that I take a photo with this giant cotton candy so that they could post it. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, so we're gonna do a cotton candy burrito. Let's do birthday cake, sprinkles, and the sour belts. Like yeah, animal crackers. Do you guys make the cotton candy burrito with the pickle in the middle? Yeah, Let's do one of those too. It's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we got to watch them make my ice cream cotton candy burrito, but they made the pickle one in the back. So let's take a look at it. Ta-da. <laughs> look at this thing. We also have some mango and tahini on this one. I low-key feel like this one's actually gonna be super good. <laughs> let's try our ice cream one first. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Wow, so much sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. <laughs> I don't think I could eat both sides of the burrito. So if you come here and bring a couple people to share with, but cotton candy ice cream in cotton candy, highly recommend. <laughs> All right, let's try our pickle one. It's so pretty. Okay, here we go. There's a lot going on. <laughs> it's not bad, but I can't decide if I like it or not. <laughs> it's the tahini mixed with the cotton candy that's throwing me off, I think. That one's a weird combination. I don't think I'd get that one again, but I'm gonna be honest, I would probably get one of these again. <laughs> All right, next up is probably one of our most intense desserts. I saw this one on TikTok. It's this literal fireball of chocolate, and we're about to get it at this Casa Playa restaurant, which is in the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas. The vibes of this restaurant are immaculate, but are the dessert vibes also going to be immaculate. Also, this place was so loud. Like it kind of sounded like a club. There was very loud music. Therefore, you get voiceover hope to tell you about this experience. <laughs> this dessert is called La Flama Blanca and it costs $28, which honestly I expected it to cost more because you know, Vegas prices. <laughs> and it's called that because it's a giant white chocolate ball and they cover it in rum and then burn it off. And that's what gives it that flame effect. 
the presentation of this thing was incredible. And honestly, it kind of exceeded my expectations. This thing burned for a while and it was cool. <laughs> I am also really curious to find out what exactly is in the middle of this thing. And does it taste any good? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was disappointing. <laughs> like the actual dessert didn't taste that good. The banana ice cream is great. But there's also a banana bread. It was just kind of dry, bananas, caramel. Not bad, but not the best I've had. The funniest part of this experience though is when we asked our waiter for a to-go box and he just looked at us like, a to-go box for your melted ice cream. <laughs> but listen, we needed it for our ultimate internet treat that we're making at the end of this. I've been seeing these TikTok and Instagram videos everywhere of these candied fruit trays. Inside these crunchy little sugar bombs are all kinds of different fruit. Pineapple, watermelon, strawberries. Oh my God. Some of these even do candied pickles, which I think we have to try. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody near me makes and sells these, but maybe that's a good thing. After I saw how much they charge for some of these trays, $250 for a tray of candied fruit. <laughs> so today we're gonna find out, can we make this on our own for cheap? And the answer to that is, Kind of. <laughs> All of these ingredients for the tray ended up costing $80.88. Okay, step one is choosing our fruit. We got pineapple, strawberries, grapes, and of course, we have to candy a pickle. <laughs> We're gonna try something that I've seen on TikTok, and that is wrapping it in a fruit roll up so that the candy sticks better to it. I'm not gonna lie, I already have a stomach ache just looking at this stuff. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> okay, and as for our candy coating, the ingredients are pretty simple, as you might expect. Lots of sugar, corn syrup, and after we get this nice and heated up, that's when we add our coloring and our flavor. Wow, it's so bright. We have to get our crunchy candy coating that we're gonna dip it in. And for that, we have Pop Rocks. <laughs> Okay, should I start with the pickle? Oh my gosh, I'm nervous it's gonna fall off and I'm gonna lose it forever. Okay, in it goes. Ah, I have no idea how to do this. Oh my gosh, no! Ah, okay, the fruit roll-up's just melting. Scratch the fruit roll-up idea, I just dried off the pickle. We'll see if that works. And it goes. Honestly, it looks pretty with the fruit roll-up color in it. It's like tie-dye now. Um. Why is the candy not sticking? <laughs> this was difficult. Now I'm starting to see why the people that make these trays charge so much for them. Oh no. The hardest part is the candy dip because you have to get it the perfect temperature so that it's not too hot, but you also don't want it to cool and harden. All right, the $250 cost is starting to make a little bit more sense. It's literally a talent. <laughs> oh. Ah! oh my gosh, the Pop Rocks. <laughs> Yeah, dipping hot candy in Pop Rocks is like actually dangerous. Let's try a strawberry. And after dipping some more fruit, the candy coating started to turn brown. It looks pretty gross. Take two, new color. I feel better about this one now that we've had some practice. First blue grape, it's pretty. With the fresh candy coating, it was time to conquer the candied pickle once and for all. All right, my final attempt at candying a pickle. <gasps> Wait. It's sticking. Oh my gosh. Now we just need to let it cool properly. We have a candied pickle. Oh. I think we have all our fruit done. I'm gonna let this cool and then assemble it all into a tray. All right, unfortunately our candy has cooled and our pickle didn't make it. <laughs> I was so hopeful too. It's not cute. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's quite as aesthetic as the ones on TikTok, but we gave it our best shot. <laughs> okay, maybe we can salvage it by adding a little bit more candy. <laughs> We've got our blue and pink and purple gummy worms and my personal favorite, nerd clusters. Does that make it better or worse? <laughs> All right, let's try this little pink grape with some Pop Rocks on it. Mmm, wait, it's good. It might not be the prettiest, but it tastes good and that's all that matters. That's actually so good. I don't think I'll ever make it again. I'll probably just, you know, 
make a trip to Texas next time. I'm craving candied fruit. <laughs> I am gonna set a few of these aside though for our ultimate internet treat that we're making at the end of the video. <laughs> next stop on our sugar safari, we are at the Black Top restaurant. This is another one that I've seen all over social media for years. They have crazy shakes. They're all like over 1600 calories. A lot of them have entire slices of cake on the top. I'm really excited. <laughs> all right, we've got nine different crazy shakes that we can choose from. I originally thought I was gonna order all of them until I realized there was nine. We're just gonna pick like the three most exciting ones. <laughs> okay, shake number one. This is the Bam Bam. I'm so excited for this. It's covered in Fruity Pebbles. We've got a Fruity Pebble Rice crispy in here. Oh my gosh, an entire strawberry Pop-Tart. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's Laffy Taffy. Uh, there we go. This thing is intense. Let's try it. Mm. Tastes like my childhood. Shake number two. This is probably the one that I was the most excited about, the cake shake. This is a huge piece of cake. <laughs> We've got sprinkles around the edge, whipped cream. Let's see what's in the middle of this thing. I think it's just vanilla with sprinkles. Oh no, it's cake batter shake. That's so good. I feel like I need to take a bite of the cake slice. Wow, it's good. I think this might be my favorite dessert so far. All right, and our final shake is the cinnamon roll one. All right, here we go. <laughs> In total, we have 4,800 calories here. So <laughs> I think this one definitely wins for amount of sugar. Let's see what the actual shake is. I think it's just vanilla with some cinnamon at the bottom. I would say that's my least favorite flavor wise. Okay, we're taking home some pieces of our shake to add to our concoction that we're making out of the rest of our desserts. Now it's time to combine all of our treats into one. <laughs> It's gonna be a disaster. This is the definition of an intrusive thought come to life. Macron, fortune cookie. Oh my gosh, it's completely soggy. In it goes. Cheesecake, our melted ice cream, <laughs> candy tray. Let's do a grape. Okay, what's left of our milkshake? We've got some cake and some cinnamon roll. All right, we're gonna mix all this together and we're gonna make our own cotton candy burrito. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. The Pop Rocks. <laughs> okay, I think it's pretty well mixed. <laughs> here's our tortilla and here's our Philly. <laughs> this texture is gonna be awful. Oh. I wasn't expecting it to be this gooey. Okay, now we wrap it up and we stick a candle in. <laughs> this is so chaotic. Well, guys, this has been a fun one. I will say after this video, I have a newfound respect for all of you that are good at baking and making candy. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video where I tried viral candy, you should watch that one next. Oh, wow. It's not bad actually. It kind of tastes like an ice cream sundae in cotton candy. I don't hate it. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye YouTube. You can't have that. <laughs>